Violence Wednesday. Hello girls, and like my father just said on the drive home from school, it's Wednesday already. You were just said hello to by a group of Canadians and Washingtonians and Justin Finch Fletchley. It's pretty cool. To transfer from one Hufflepuff into another, I'd just like to say happy birthday to Sue Upton. And if you don't know who Sue is, then first of all, you're missing out. And second of all, she is the a host on Pottercast, which is one of the biggest Harry Potter podcasts, and it's a hilarious podcast that I listen to every week, and you should too. She is the news poster of the Leaky Cauldron, and she's also just an amazing woman, and a very loving Hufflepuff. And so, I'd just like to say happy birthday to her. And if you listen to Pottercast, which you should, or if you use the Leaky Cauldron as your source of Harry Potter news, which you also should, or maybe if you just like Harry Potter. If you don't, why are you watching me? Go read. Please leave a comment down here just saying, you know, happy birthday, Sue. It worked for Haley. Hopefully it'll work for this too. <laughs> just to show our love and appreciation for her. So happy birthday, Sue Upton. Hope you have a great one. Today is awesome because I got August Rush on DVD. And... I want to have Freddie Highmore's babies. So this week I've been really tired because I've been taking the Wassels, which is Washington Assessment for Student Learning, and they're the standardized tests that we take here in Washington. Uh, Monday and Tuesday were the reading Wassel, and today and tomorrow the writing Wassel. And they're not that hard, it's just you have to wake up really early and get there and then go to all your classes still for the day. I found that I can sleep pretty much anywhere I want to if I'm that tired, which I have been. So last Friday I went to um, a Wizard Rock show, my first one in a really long time because they don't come here often enough. And it was, as I said last week, Justin Finch Fletchley, The Whomping Willows, and Catch Love, and it was really fun. There were a bunch of people there, a few people um, came up to me and they were like, oh, you're my awesome girl, aren't you? And that was kind of weird. But um, hello to everyone who was there, it was nice to meet you. So on Friday I got three new shirts to add to my extensive Harry Potter shirt collection. It says, I want to go to Honey Dukes with you. And this is um, Justin Finch Fletchley's shirt. The Whomping Willow almost killed me. This is Catch Loves. <laughs> it says, Catch Love. By the way, I forgot to mention um, a couple weeks ago, actually, that I have moved on past Rebel Angels and into The Sweet Far Thing by Little Bit Ray. This is the third book in the series. I'm on, and I'm this far in, on page 265. So, no spoilers or anything. Just updating you. It's really good. I'm kind of sad because I was sort of spoiled on the ending. You know, it's kind of weird. I've had three friends ask me in the last two weeks to help me do video projects for them. If in the past week I've talked to you more than six times, I love you a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. And you know who I mean. And by the way, this isn't my room, it's my brother's room. I just love the bed in his room. It's more comfortable than mine, so when he's off at college I can be here and sleep. Haley. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so I just got home and I got like seven urgent IMs tell me, telling me to check Leaky. And oh my god, two Deathly Hallows. This is crazy! Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to think right now. I'm happy that they won't be cutting subplots of that, I know. But oh my, this whole thing is crazy. I love Harry Potter. Put your opinions down here with the happy birthday comments to suit. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. Well, I have a fun time in Canada tonight. I was grudgingly honest, not in Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs>